In September of 2020, a vibrant and innovative school will be joining the Orange County Educational Forum. The Orange County Classical Academy in Orange, California will be the first of its kind. The Academy's focus is to develop exceptional citizens who are keepers and defenders of the principles of freedom, while also instilling intellectual and personal habits and skills upon which responsible, independent, and productive lives are built. Classical education is, is different in the way you approach um, well, first starting out in the younger grades and, and then and, and all, all along, it's different than what you would get in, an, in a traditional public school. Mark shared with me his vision for a classical education charter school in Orange County for a variety of reasons it didn't work out for him when his kids were young. Uh, my son attended Hillsdale College. Hillsdale College is a vigorous academic liberal arts college in the middle of Michigan. And Hillsdale has a charter school initiative. It's called the Barney Charter School Initiative. Barney is named after Stephen Barney that gave Hillsdale College some seed money to initiate this initiative. Hillsdale College has 20 charter schools, K through 12 charter schools in 10 different states, none in California. So I presented that to Mark. I've got connections to Hillsdale in this Barney Charter School Initiative. Mark had the idea of opening up a classical education charter school. I said, Mark, what are we waiting for? How tough could this be? And he reminds, that, he reminds me of this now as we overcome various hurdles. He goes, yeah, Barky, how tough could this be? The Orange County Classical Academy was granted its five-year charter approval from the Orange Unified School District in January 2020. The mission of the Orange County Classical Academy is to develop students in mind and character through a classical, content-rich, liberal arts and sciences curriculum that emphasizes the principles of scholarship, moral character, and civic virtue. The way I would describe classical education is that its purpose is academic, certainly, but it's not just academic, it's also moral. And its object is not just the mind, but it's also the heart. And I still remember, I think it was last year around November when I emailed Mark Booker, our founder, just wanted to express my gratitude for working so hard to make this happen. And he and I connected. We met in person and started talking about how he might be able to include me as part of this journey. There were few different conditions that we were given that needed to happen before we can really proceed, which was finding a place and uh, for me to be interviewed by Hillsdale to be approved for Barney Charter School Initiative. Orange County Classical Academy is currently enrolling 360 students, kindergarten through fifth grades. With each onset in year, an additional grade will be added to the school course offerings. All students receive a foundation based on the classical educational format, a high or noble purpose, a content-rich curriculum, and a traditional classroom environment. So the best way to get children to be engaged in the classroom is to give them something to think about and to help them to want to know more. And so this, the Socratic method is really um, allowing the students to learn by asking questions and to come up with more and more questions. And the teacher helps to disseminate the information to them. Um, I believe in school choice and that parents should have the right to choose the kind of education that's fitting for their families. I believe at OCA, the best of both worlds are offered, classical and charter. A charter school allows the parents' voices to be heard. The parents' input is weighed heavily in the school's decision-making process. So a big part of OCCA's story is, is the campus and you know, how, how we got it and how we ended up here and what we've been able to do with it. This was a private school that closed down just last year and had been going for 60 years or close to. It was a beautiful campus, but, but needed some tender loving care. So my children begin every morning with the Pledge of Allegiance with their teachers in class. They put their hand on their heart and they say the Pledge of Allegiance, acknowledging under God that this nation was founded under God. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all.
It's a very moving moment for me, especially because many schools have omitted the Pledge of Allegiance. To know that they are acknowledging the foundation of this nation, what it's been founded on, to give recognition to where it's due, I believe that's tremendously crucial in raising up a generation that will be thankful, that will be grateful, and that will have a sense of duty to serve this, their nation well. Like most startup businesses, and in particular startup charter schools, we barely survive the first year because of cash flow. Our budget is rock solid once we get the money from the state, but this first year is touch and go. Whoever is watching this, to the extent that you can help us, small donations, large donations, willingness to make loans, we so appreciate it uh, because our mission is much more important than me and Mark. Uh, it's about the children and it's about the future of this country.